Hello everyone. Welcome to this video. In our previous video, we learned about Euclid's division lemma. In this video, we will study the fundamental theorem of arithmetic. Can you group these numbers into composite numbers and prime numbers? Pause the video to group them and then match your answer. Hope your answer is correct. Now if we choose any one of these numbers, suppose 102 and proceed, then can you write 102 as the product of its prime factors? One zero two can be written as the product of its prime factors, that is 2, 3 and 17. Well done! Now if we observe it carefully, then we will notice that we can multiply prime numbers to get a natural number. Let us understand this in detail. If we take a group of prime numbers and multiply some or all these numbers any number of times, we will get a positive integer in each case. Therefore, we can say that any positive integer can be written as the product of powers of prime numbers. Can you think of any composite number which cannot be written as the product of powers of prime numbers? Let us try to answer this. Let us factorize a positive integer, say 1,8108. Can you show how to factorize this number? Perfect! We can find its factors with the help of a factor tree. In this way, we can factorize 1,8108 as a product of prime numbers, which is in the form of powers of prime numbers. What do you understand from this? From this we understand that Every composite number can be written as the product of the powers of prime numbers. And if the sequence of prime numbers is not taken into consideration, then composite number can be written in the same method as the powers of the prime number. You can check this theorem by trying out some more examples of similar kind. This is a true statement which plays an important role in the study of integers. This is the reason why this statement is called the fundamental theorem of arithmetic. It was introduced by Sir Carl Frederick Gauss. According to him, each composite number can be expressed or factorized as a product of prime numbers and this factorization is unique irrespective of the order of the prime factors. In this video, we have studied the fundamental theorem of arithmetic. In the next video, we will see few of its applications.